Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having such an amazing weekend so far. It is currently Saturday, uh, January 25th of 2020, and I kind of wanted to make a quick video, and I guess you can kind of um, talk with you guys real quick before I um, officially go to bed, and um, I guess... Uh, I've been having a lot of people have been asking me questions about genital wise and there was this one question that I had. It was also brought up on my live stream, but I didn't really which call go into a lot of details about it. And this is the time to um I guess you could say get into the details. So recently I had a um um, someone on uh, YouTube asked um, about janitor stuff and that is do you have to have experience with customer service and I'm going to answer that right now and I'm going to actually kind of go over the details of um, the importance of customer service and also um, depends on the job description so the importance of customer service it falls into uh, being a janitor now there's some jobs where you need customer service experience and then there's some jobs that don't really need the experience of customer service um, let me give you kind of great examples with customer service that, you, uh, that some places might need um, you might need uh, customer service experience with um, working at a, either a museum or a bank or a school. It really depends on the job. Um, you also need to have a really great, great customer service when it comes to um, especially when you're around a lot of people, such as like a museum. Um, but some jobs can be really uh, different. Um, if you ever uh, have to get customer service, I suggest that you guys start when you're young, uh, bef like uh, start when you're, um, you know, volunteering at a museum or a school or even a church or any kind of uh, places that deals with tons of people. Now, what happens if you uh, have to deal with uh, people and you have to have customer service experience? Now, the thing is, you don't really have to get it from trying to be a janitor. If you work with people such as like McDonald's, or at a concert place, like besides being a janitor, that can actually um, help you with great customer service. Now, let me kind of give you a great example of customer service. Now, customer service is where um, you can have um, experience uh, with working with people, uh, either from a retail or anything. Um, especially if you're working at uh, concerts, and it really depends on the job. Um, I always suggest, like I mentioned, start with um, uh, applying for work um, and start volunteering at a place that deals with tons of people, such as like a museum or a school or even a local church. Or you can also um, start with um, even volunteering for uh, the homeless or anything like that um, that deals with people. Because there's some people that's actually not a people person, like um, that prefer to work night shift where there's hardly no none people, or they may work with, uh, or someone could be a type of person that wants to work with whoever they want to work with and work with people. Now, um, with customer service, 
I always say it's really important to have customer service experience because if you have customer service experience, um, it's actually really good, especially if you wanting to uh, start a career in generative field, um, especially if you're going to be working at a place that's uh, going to have tons of people. And um, matter of fact, having customer service is the most absolute best thing that you can possibly do and have, especially if you decided one day that you don't want to be a janitor anymore, you can actually carry that customer service to a different job. Like if you went from being a janitor to working at a local grocery store, or if you work from grocery store to uh, like let's say if you went to college to um, just say wanted to do something that represents with people like an EMT or anything like that, you can actually have that experience already. Now the only thing I can say is my number one pet peeve that is really good is if you actually have customer service with a lot of experience, um, that actually would help you especially if you have tons of experience, um, it would really help you la later on down the run. And um, nowadays, most jobs uh, want you to have customer service experience, especially if it's in gender, or if you want to be a police officer, or if you want to be a firefighter, or a librarian, or anything like that. Uh, most jobs will want customer service. So, if I was you guys, if you're ever thinking about uh, wanting to work uh, with janitor or even wanting to work at a different job, I would suggest start out young, like volunteer at a place that deals with a lot of people and also deals with um, how to handle uh, situations and stuff like that. Um, I would suggest first is that try to volunteer if you guys are in school um, just say talk with your um, uh, teacher or the principal and kind of uh, talk with mostly the principal too to see if you can possibly uh, volunteer your time to uh, you know do things such as janitor work or even if it comes to working with other people such as like uh, helping, um, you know, kind of like doing office work. That's also dealing with the customer service. And then kind of build yourself on it. Keep building it. Because if you start out young, and if you have to say two to maybe four years with customer service, that would be good. Especially when you want to work somewhere that really needs someone that has a lot of experience with customer service. So anyways guys, I hope everybody's having such an amazing week so far. If you like this video, please give a like. Subscribe if you're new on here. And don't forget to have your post notifications turned on so you won't miss any of my videos. And I want to let you guys know that tomorrow at 8 um, p.m. I am going to go live. And um, I'm going to go live. And... Uh, I might go live on here, or I might go live on my PS4. I'm still uh, trying to debate on it. If you guys want me to, uh, you know, go live on my PS4, say, go live on your PS4, or go live on the computer. And I would actually uh, set it up. And you guys got until uh, 2 p.m. to make your final say. Or I'll even, uh, I'll, if you guys have it where, um, I'll even let you guys know when I um, make a YouTube video to let you guys know when I'm going live again. You know, when I'm going to go live. I'll make a four hour notice to let you guys know. And if everything goes well, I'll let you guys know that, hey, I'm going to go live on my Xbox. I mean, not Xbox, PS4. And I'm also going to go, or I'll say I'm going to go live on my computer. So guys, take care, be safe, subscribe, share. Take care, guys. Bye.